all of our behalves, making sure that we all level up together. But these two players right now leading that charge right here in terms of meta and just sheer talent. Let's go ahead and get it right here. Game number one, Mars, Liquid to Buzz. Yeah, again, hey, both hey, them making some hey, fat upsets hey. to get here. Mars defeating his teammate and his regional brethren in light. 3-0, one of the top seeds of the tournament. To Buzz taking Mia down to make it here. So let's see, how are their runs going to culminate in this set to make it to top eight on the winner's side? That's right. Let's see how it all unfolds right now. Both of these two players, I'd imagine, want it very good. Oh my God. Good. And the Buzz set 0.0%. .0 Don't you ever forget. Down smash in the corner. This is going to be a bit of a tough one. Okay, nice. Catching the air dodge. No platform, so you got to make sure you watch how you land. That should be a pretty okay task for ZSS. I mean, she has, you know, a great jump. She can definitely get up there very quick just with that initial jump, and she has flip kick as well. In that corner, though, back here and forward air, forward air, frame seven, very quick. And as we know, historically, ZSS not blessed with the best options out of shield outside of maybe jab and, and up tilt, I guess. Uh, up B. Up, and yeah. Yes, duh, and, and up B. Don't sorry. even have to drop your shield. That's right. Just, Don't even got to drop let it. Rip. Let, let that joint rip. But... Uh, the Buzz was not even hit for almost two full stocks against Mars here on an absolute tear to kick off game one. And this is a matchup he's very familiar with. I mean, these two have met in bracket many times over the years. Uh -huh. We'll see, though, how is he able to convert? I, I don't think Mars is going to make the comeback in this game. But, of course, there's a lot of the set left to be played. He could still make some key adjustments. Okay, Whistle going to get the Buzz back to the ground, though. Okay. Now wait. No. Oh, caught you slipping. Off the mark with the side B, though. Love the attempt. Can we get another one? That's right. A rinse and repeat. Okay, the Lakers line up on the Pigments disappear. <laughs> and we are back right now. Okay, nice. Gonna go for the standing jab. And this is what I like to see here from Mars. We know Mars for these just highlight reel, electrifying openings and finishes. But right now, giving us a less is more, leaning into jab in the tilts. Namely, that up tilt up close and personal. Oh, come here. Wow. There it is, that blue up throw, sealing the deal on the stock to buzz. Pretty okay army right now. He's got some white Pikmin to build the damage. Purple just to keep Mars away, because obviously it's not going to kill him at zero. Mm. And then the yellow is great against CSS and all her electric hitboxes. That's right. Now purple one being pretty darn safe on shield, too. Has the forwarder and has that backer name. I believe the purple one's the safest on shield when it comes to the back air. Hold the on. bus right now applying that thoroughly. Nothing off the down tilt. Rod, I was saying Mars not, might not make the comeback in this game, uh -huh. but he's actually putting a pretty decent dent into DeBuzz's light lead right here. Oh, no. All the Pikmin stuck to him, though. It's going to add hit lag to his moves. That gives DeBuzz a little bit more freedom to pick and choose where he's going to be, what he's going to punish with, and now this one is looking like it's going to be wrapped up real soon. That's right, man. I would hope, you know, Mars can find a way to dig deep and bring themselves out of this, because right now DeBuzz just being a wall. I mean, this is the buzz that we have grown to know and love. The buzz here as of late has become a little bit more aggressive, and I love that for him, but this is the buzz right here that wins championships. Knowing you're a weakness and then just using it against you. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the neutral air in the back air, almost doing it right there. Very clean stuff right here. Mars right now looking good. There's the upper, that upper so safe and so quick. Oh wow. my goodness. Usually you see Zara out there, he said no. Gonna go for side beam. 148% here, Max. I gotta be honest, ZSS plus some rage. I hate to sign a broken record, but we have seen what that can turn into. Oh my god, yeah, you thought the Smash 4 ZSS comebacks were a thing of the past? Absolutely not. Player like Mars staying on his P's and Q's right here, just keeping everything so tight. The parries, not letting this lead to Buzz has face him whatsoever. Okay, right. and now okay. the Buzz has to find some kind of raw kill option. Yeah, and, and fast. He has to break this zone. Nair so quick right here in ZSS's tool kick. At least, not quick, but safe, excuse me. And a move that safe, and oh my goodness, and that big, it's gonna be very hard for the bus to get in and make a play. But the bus finds a way right there. Hey, oh, there's a Pikmin in the front row. Hey, there's another. Uh, there's a couple of them. Hey, oh there's my God. another. What the? <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God, it's I love Pikmin Smash Five. Con, bro. I love Smash Con. They said Pikmin Five is a VR game. Nerds are the best, bro. That's right, I love it. <laughs> hey, give it up for our Pikmin, I love it. I know that's right. Hey, I got some shades of DeBuzz, or Zama versus Ken from that match, though. We saw DeBuzz starting off almost a back-to-back -back zero to death on Mars' first two stocks. But then you give this man a little bit of time to breathe, and he can make some magic happen. Yeah, that plasma whip oh, right that there. Was, Love that. Was that. Clean. that was so clean. Yeah, I got to give it to you, man. Like you said, you, know, you give him a little bit of room to, to breathe. I mean, and then that's when the magic is really, you know, just ever so present, I feel like, in a match. But again... Yeah, the aerials just became a little bit too much of a daunting task of flight for Mars to try to work around. And I think working those in conjunction with Mars's aerials was certainly something to look at. You know, Nair, obviously a slower move, but pretty safe. Same with Upper as well, too. And I just felt like, as weird as this is to say, 
the Buzz knew how to kind of bob and weave in between some of the gaps in DSS's toolkit and find those openings and just apply that damage thoroughly. Luckily enough for him, this is a best of five situation here, friends. So let's see what we get for this next game. Yeah, Mar's gonna have plenty of time to shake that one off, maybe reacclimate himself to the Olmar matchup. Mm. This character was everywhere in half at the beginning of the game. No on doubt. the top of pretty much everybody's tier list. And now it's really just a buzz and the occasional Myron appearance, at least over here in NA. You know what's funny? I think Myron actually just retired, bro. Did he really? Bro, I, I, not oh, to, wow. you know, tangent too much. I was on Facebook.com. Yes, I know I'm 30. I use the website, okay? I think <laughs> I seen a post from Myron saying I'm retired, and I hate it. I hate that Myron's retired. That means I'm getting old. I've been here too long. Man, rip to a legend, bro. Myron, an incredible competitor. He actually eliminated Mars from Genesis 8, if I'm not mistaken. That's so right. This has been a bit of a thorn in the side of Mars in the past, but the buzz. Definitely a different player, right? Whether it's, you know, for better or for worse. He's always been ranked higher than Myron, to Just be right. fair. But stylistically, that's what really matters in the head-to-head -head matchups like this. Right now, Tabuz doing a great job oh. against Mars, but it looks like he's learned something since that last game. He's a far cry from the near two perfect stocks to Buzz had I know that's the right. last one. Bro, I know that's right. He said, I'm spot dodging that grab. I see that blue one back there lurking, and I'm hip to your ways right now, Tabuz. Mars right now leaning into the movement, letting that kind of apply the pressure for him. And I think that's really smart. I think in that last game, he just kind of leaned too much and going for the, the blow to blow to blow, the stock exchange right there with the with the buzz. And unfortunate enough, just ate a lot of percent for that. But right now, the movement options are getting the job done. But for how much longer? Okay, blue one's on the ready. Nuh uh get them purple ones out of here. Mars going for that real fast up throw, hoping, hoping maybe to catch the buzz, not the eyeing properly, because the animation's kind of kind of fast, I guess. But either way, the buzz is gonna hang on here. Mars clinging to life almost 200%. The back throw is not nearly enough to do it, or even to combo into something that will kill. That's right. Looking for something here in fast. I think that's one of the few shortcomings in ZSS's toolkit is that it needs to be that initial hit into something. We're after a certain threshold. I, oh, there, there's the initial hit right there. With the exception of upbeat, it needs to be that one hit into something else where the buzz has the luxury of, I got purple Pikmin in the blue, and I'm just looking for that one opening. Boom, that should be enough to close it out. And again, I think also due to the design of all of Mars' toolkit, it becomes a bit more of a daunting task where I feel like Mars to jump around the buzz. You don't get that luxury anymore. Yes, up air is very safe, minus two, but you don't want to be on the receiving end of any of those Pikmin, namely those purple ones up close. You don't get to jump around for free anymore. Yeah, okay. for real. I think ZSS also kind of struggles to get the Pikmin off of her body, right? Not many of her moves cover the entirety of her frame. So we can see that damage over time start to rack up. That said, Mars in the slightest of leads right now, playing very carefully, not letting anything latch onto him. She's going to stand in place, throw some hitboxes out. Oh, no, and he's got that yellow oh. arm. It's, it is racking it up right now. Oh, my God, yes, most definitely. And trying to cash it out. This one remaining a little bit more airtight. Corner control on the ready side, be a little early. Love the presence of mine right there, but the buzz always on time with the F smash. Back up, player. Give me a little bit of space. Both of them getting away with some neutral get-ups from the ledge right here. Slight timing whiffs on each of their parts. Oh, wow. That time it's going to be the roll from the buzz. Gets him back to center. Oh, but he gets buried by the down B. Yes, right into the boost kick. And that's going to be Mars with a stock lead. It's a very small one. Of course, 110% on this light character. You're not too safe. But the buzz now has to hunt him down. That is not where Olimar excels at all. No, absolutely not. You do not want to play the cat and mouse game with ZSF. She outframed that as you in a lot of ways. Oh, oh, my goodness. The frame, one jab into the down tilt, into the down special. My goodness. Mars said, I am here and I am alive in this game. Wow, cleaning that one all the way up right there. Nair into flip kick. Of course, the most lethal thing in Zero Suit's kit, right? If you open yourself up for that, you might as well just throw the whole damn game away. Please, Mars. please, give, give me the replay. Yep, misses Ooh. the tech. Jab Ooh. block right there. Down hey. tilt to set it up. And then to Buzz, whistling into the ground, hoping to use that armor to find some safety. But no, Mars perfectly waiting it out converting into his most lethal confirm. Wow. What an answer back right there to a very strong game number one, Max. Here we are with game number two, and it was certainly the Mars show. Again, not jumping around the buzz haphazardly anymore, not approaching him head on, exchanging blow for blow. You know, I think, you know, in, in just regards of, you know, sheer frame data, you know, ZSS is blessed in some regards, but she's not blessing the strength output that Olimar has given the right combination of Pikmin. And I think he certainly realized that in that second game. And like I mentioned before, let the movement that ZSS have do, do the work for him. 
Yeah, it's I'm that. jumping around you. I'm running away. I'm, you know, I'm everywhere where you don't want me to be. I'm gonna let the damage come to me this time. Yeah, that speed, that range, right? Those are the assets Zero Suit has to use to beat a character like Almar. And wow, to Buzz, maybe feeling a little bit figured out after that one. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised to see his confidence shaken, right? Especially with how strong he started off game one. Sure, sure. But definitely looked like Mars was getting used to it, getting acclimated to fighting Olimar, and that character switch that you see right here from one obscure character to another uh -huh. it's part of what makes the buzz so dangerous to fight against. that's right because they are all poised and ready for battle at any given moment the buzz does his research remember this was the very tournament where laptop buzz was at its most prevalent all those years ago and of course the laptop is in his brain now he doesn't need it but he's fused with the machine yeah he's downloaded all that information he's got offline access now that's i know that's right okay and he's definitely tapped in Okay, 32% right now. Mars right now really struggling to find a way in between not only Rosalina, but Luma as well. Side B, get it out of here. Yeah, slaughtering Luma with that. My God, all the multi-hits, that looks so brutal. And now Mars is off the stage, just gonna tether right to the ledge, try to get back in the action a little faster. That's He's right. got a lot of ground to make up for here. To Buzz, over 80% in the lead at this point. Actually, over, yeah, yeah, over 80. Yep, yep, no doubt. Looking really good right now. This is exactly where Mars wants to be. Wait a minute, but not on that side of Rosalina. The back hit right there of Up Smash, shutting it down. The buzz goes up right here in a very commanding and comfortable way. Shades of game number one. This is the buzz right here that is their most dangerous. Dude, you could see right there, Mars thought he had the neutral air. He even preemptively used the flip jump. Didn't let the kick rip, of course, because he realized it didn't convert or confirm. But even still, the buzz. Poised to uh, maybe take this game just based on the flow that I'm seeing so far. Mm -hmm. Mars gonna try to shut it down with this reverse boost kick edge guard. Gonna get to the ledge either way. Okay, uh oh. No! Oh, way. Unfortunate, not like this. And the buzz will definitely take that one home and cash it out. Great stuff right here. Yes, quick up B. Not gonna be enough to do it, but Luma said, hold on, player. It ain't going down like that. We don't fight fair. We overwhelm and defeat. Oh, oh my goodness. Taking care of Luma, yeah. Good fundamentals there from Mars. He knows this matchup. Again, a Smash 4 veteran, man, you better know this matchup. And this is the guy who would have forced you to learn it in the first place. Mm -hmm. To Buzz, holding on to such a comfortable lead here, though, an entire stock up. Let's see if Mars is able to crack through somehow. We've seen that Zero Suit has some of these X Factor things she can do to bring a match very close or, or make a huge comeback. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if the Buzz will let Lightning strike twice. I don't think so, man. But we'll see how it goes, because Mars is definitely out there with that key and that kite. Waiting for some magic to most certainly happen. Get Luma out of here. Great thing about ZSS and her movement, she can get in between Bob and Wee, between Rosalina and Luma. Okay, down tilt a little faster on Rosalina's behalf than it is on Luma, so right now, gonna force her to approach. Okay, Just dash attack. Yeah. Catching those landing options, bro, I'm scared. The buzz has barely been hit. Just looking like this fortress of a player. Of course, that is his signature, right? The best defensive player for so many years. Mm -hmm. At this point, I, I might be ready to give him that title back. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a stack. I'm kind of with you. Whoa, my God! Wow. Uh, Again, whoa. kind of a lack of DI right there. Mars going straight up from the up smash. Luma only, by the way. That's right. And we're gonna see the buzz now on set point here. Just one more to earn himself a spot on the winner side of top eight. It's looking like a DeBuzz renaissance, man. It really is. I'm here for the DeBuzz renaissance. I'm just happy to be a part of it in these history books. And I'm happy that they're doing it in, in front of this beautiful audience, man. Look at all these wonderful faces out here pulling up here at Super Smash. Can I see the cosplay? I'm loving it. I see Terry in the front row. I see the Mario Bros off to the left. I see y'all. I see y'all, man. I see Piranha Plant back there. Yeah, man. Okay, Shows. hey, whoa, are those twins? Are those twins back there? I, they are now. Uh-huh, I see y'all. Shouts to all the cosplayers in the building, man. I see, that I see little Roy. I see the little Roy. I love this audience. We do this for y'all. All right, guys. Last top eight winners qualifier. Give it up for your players. Could be the last game of the set here, but let's see. Mars might have something to say about that. Uh-huh. Here we go. Okay, the cross up on the back there. Early on, early on the grab, but I do like that attempt. That momentum, I tell you, man, I don't care how defensively strong you are. When Mars has that momentum, you're going to crumble a little bit. Yeah, for sure. I don't okay. think anyone could withstand that kind of pressure, the buzz included. So let's see if Mars is able to key into that side of himself. Okay, taking care of Luma. Got a little bit of a percent lead. How hard can you bully Rosalina from this position? That's right. You only got so much time. Double up air, very quick option. Safe on shield too if she decides to land with it. Not gonna be a lot right there for the buzz to look for. If you're without Luma, you start dancing around. 
Bloomba up tilt quicker than Rosalina's up tilt, too. Keep that in mind. So she's forced to slug it out in a little differently without Luma. Whoa! There's Nair, though. Get out of my bubble. I love this here from the Buzz. Staying right there in the middle. That circle, that blue circle in the middle of Battlefield. Not allowing Mars any free access points in. Give me that. Yeah, I mean, Rosa's so good at maintaining stage control. The Buzz using his character strengths in a big way. And once again, not leaving that center. He's going to let Luma do the dirty work for him. Pressure oh, yeah. Mars on the platform. And kind of recall her a little bit toward him as Mars contains or uh, regains stage control. Uh-huh. Stage control is very important, I feel like, for both of these two. You give ZSS platform, she's a kid on the playground right here. She's the biggest bully in the sandbox, if you will, right now. 104%. Looking powerful. Cross up back here. Get out of here. We should see back though. Yes, ma'am. Mars is attacking on these light hits from afar. Those Zayers just getting that safe damage, okay? Finds the dash attack off it as well. How much can you do with this stock lead? Couldn't take care of Luma right there. The forward tilt doesn't have enough knockback. And Mars still fighting this uphill battle despite being in a winning position, mm -hmm. when these two are paired up, it's so dangerous. It is. Okay, gets the parry. That was smooth, of course. Allowing to go for the parry. And I think this is one thing that ZSS is blessed with. You know, she can go for the parry, completely break away from Rosalina because she's off stage and she's taking so long to recover and focus getting rid of Luma. Does not seem to matter, though. The Buzz answering back right here in a big way with only 50% on board here, mind you. Oh, yeah, get off me. Wait a minute. No, listen, I'm on you. All right, gonna see that up the outer shield. Again, really the only strong option ZSS has from that position. It comes out of frame six, it could kill, but it doesn't have a lot of range. And sometimes you might even fall out if you get unlucky. But Mars still maintaining a little bit of a lead here. They're gonna trade forward airs just on those placement hits. I love the wave land to try to mix the buzz up on the platform, mm -hmm. but no, ZSS having a slow grab makes her a little less threatening from that position. Oh, 100%. It makes her definitely less threatening in some spots and even scarier in other spots. But I feel like the areas where it makes her scary, the bus is just not worried about it. The bus is never going for any air dodges in, any preemptive jumps. It's going to be very rare that we see a tether grab landed on Mars' regard. But to say that, wait a minute, yeah, see, there's another one. But even all that to say, excuse me, there are other ways to get these KOs right here on the bus. ZSS, of course, bus with some great movement. Trying to get in between Rosalina and Luma. The bus not allowing any of it, being this formidable wall right now. Okay, nothing off the side of me, but there's the back air. Can I get another? I said, can I get another? If you're a Mars fan, you need another at this point. Oh. The Buzz is starting to reestablish himself in this game. He was down by like 80, 90%, and now it's just single digits separating these two. That's right. Mars with the corner control. Oh, but the Buzz is going to slip on by. Again, having Luma attack while he wave dashes back. Using that attack cancel tech Whoa. so effectively, but Mars going to find his way in the plasma whip. Takes the Buzz's second stock. Need to maintain this lead for as long as possible. Establish some extra credit real quick. Oh, well, we'll see how easy that will be for him. Because the Buzz right now has that blood in his eye. This is where Bu the Buzz is going to get a little aggressive. Okay, there's the microspace. You start seeing Rosalina doing the crouch in the corner, the crawl in the corner, excuse me. That's when you know the Buzz is lurking for something. Okay, standing jab right now. Okay, love the positioning. If you misstep on that top platform, Ros Rosalina's going to have Luma catch you. If you jump improperly, middle stage. Rosalina's gonna catch it herself. Wow. Whoa! The puppeteer, the puppet master. Changed the buzz's name to Geppetto. <laughs> I can't believe, dude, that Luma was actionable so fast after that back throw right there. That's to right. Buzz, making sure Mars never feels safe, even when he's the one landing the hits. And now, just one juggle situation can even this up. Gets both into the neutral air into up smash to Buzz right back in this game. That's Mars, right. are you going to bring us to game five or is the Buzz going to take it here and move on to winner's top eight? That is the million dollar question and I need a million trillion dollar answer right now from one of these two. Okay, Luma out the picture, smart. Luma's up tilt, which I think is something that Mars has really been struggling with a bit quicker than Rosalina. So right now, force her to slug it out without Luma. Down smash, oh, he up gets it. Whoa! Game five! Mars with the raw confidence right there, charging that down smash up, saying, I know exactly when your invincibility is going to run out. Also, the buzz kind of made it easier for him by hanging on the ledge right there and That's running right. out all his invincibility. Yes. It made the neutral getup easier to punish. You're going to see it right here in slow motion. And Mars is like, oh, you know what? We're playing this game? Okay, no problem. That's right, down smash. I mean, low commitment, high, low risk, high reward. I'm going to take that every time, especially from that position. Very smart right there on the bus to try to go for like a neutral get up as opposed to a roll. I think he probably thought Mars was expecting a couple steps ahead. You know, a bit of a Doctor Strange sort of mentality. Like, okay, yep. he's expecting me to roll. He has that frame one jab. He can stop me after my roll. Some sort of follow up afterwards. No, Mars gave you a simplistic approach. 
And a lot of times, man, you see players go for that neutral getup in the face of danger just to test their opponent's timing, just to try to call them out and be like, yeah, no way you're hitting this, right? Yeah. But no, Mars a little bit differently. And if you're a Zero Suit player, you have to be so tapped in to exactly when the neutral getup um, invincibility expires, specifically for down smash. Yes, you do. So Mars getting it done right here, keeping himself alive. Five games between these two amazing players, these two veterans of the game. They've been around for a long time, and they've been prepared for this moment. They're on the biggest stage, but they're no strangers to this environment. No, absolutely not. I mean, this is certainly their domain. This is the exact portion of bracket we've grown to love both of these two. I mean, we love their pools play. We love their doubles play. But it's about that day three action right here. These two right now know how to put butts in seats. OK. The buzz, OK, removing Mars from their seat. Love that couple up airs. Courtesy of that up tilt, there's Nair. This is smart right now. Let them know I am fearless without Luma. Uh oh Okay, you can't whiff too many of those. Yeah, of course, that grab being such a high risk option and kind of low reward for Zero Suit, honestly. The most sure. you get is if they don't DI, you can maybe back throw to flip kick them, but yeah, some, you just need a beat shield sometimes, right? Which is why you see Mars going for this low or high risk, low reward option. Either way, the buzz off on the right foot here, up about 50%. TSS is light. We could see Mars bite the dust real quick. Yeah. Would hate to see that happen to him, but great stuff right now. Trying to keep this one a little bit closer to comfort. Oh my god, this is exactly what I was talking about. You can't you can't even land on these platforms for free anymore, which I feel like is gonna be a bit of a thorn in ZSS's side. She thrives on these platforms. She has the mobility, the movement options. And it, more importantly, the combo options to take the platforms away from you. But it's a little different when she's on the receiving end, bro. Yeah, that was a little bit of a lucky break for Mars, too, because Debuzz certainly read that air dodge into the ground. Just let the up smash rip a little bit too soon. But he's going to find it anyway. Only 50%. Such a healthy stock here for Debuzz. Mars, what do you have for this? It needs to be something like an air flip kick if you want to get yourself right back in it. And it needs to be that. It needs to be that quick, mind you because the Buzz is going to try to milk this lead, try to nickel and dime their way into some better footing for themselves. OK. Whoa, wait, is it getting scared? scared. Yeah, I, I don't know what that was about. Maybe expecting a, a, a neutral special, not exactly sure. And it don't even matter, damn it. Right now, even a game once again. OK, All nice. Right. Want to go for another grab? OK, you want to hang out by Luma? Go over there, then. Another thing is that I feel like CSS is not great at killing Luma, right? One no. of your best moves to send her into Tumble is that dash attack. It travels pretty far, but it's got a lot of lag at the end. So you have to take a risk every time. Otherwise, you got to be really precise with CSS's narrow hitboxes on this tiny little star. There it is, though. Mars saying, I have nothing if not precise. Getting it done and actually taking a very slight lead here. Can he keep it going, though? To Buzz, what's the juggle going to be? Yes, I love that. The forward air to oh. catch the flip jump, but Mars is right back on the ground. That's right. Caught the air dodge in. I can't say that the Buzz is going to let them have that one twice. Mars right now still looking good. And again, being able to alleviate that pressure, flip kicking out of danger. And this is good. OK, this is exactly what I want to see right here. Playing the save game when it comes to Luma. Luma up tilt quicker than Rosalina's. I can't stress that enough. You have to watch how you deal with Luma when she's faced in front of you. And okay. the fact oh! that she can be traveling backward as per DeBuzz's recall and still throwing these hits out. It's so difficult to find exactly oh! where DeBuzz is looking to attack. God the Nair that. into up air, closing the door on that second stock. Mars, one left here in the winner's bracket. What can he do with it? That's right. Luma Nair faster than Rosalina's, but I mean, just the, the nature of Nair in general being minus four, I mean, that's going to be a tough thing for ZSS to have to do, and especially if she's crossing you up. We should see back row. Okay, not up throw quite yet. Oh, he had the right idea. Oh. Try to catch that air dodge with a long-lasting hitbox. No, the up smash actually does manage to catch the buzz there on the last hit. OK, if Mars can shut this down before the buzz gets too much extra credit, he's still got a shot. OK, if I'm Mars, I need to up tilt. I need to up be out of What the? What, what's he doing? Trying to go for these scare tactics here, making the buzz flinch, but he didn't give him the reaction he wanted. I'm scared of this. OK. Oh, oh, no. Off the mark with the dash attack. Yeah, that one being their best option, but unfortunate enough, just kind of missing the target there. OK, not able to jump out of harm's way. This match definitely starting to snowball out of control right now. OK, panic spot dodge. There's a the cross up on the back air. And he was probably anticipating a panic roll for the up smash. Even stocks right now. You can feel that desperation from Mars when it came to taking that stock from the buzz. Took a beating in the process. He's still alive, though. He still has a chance. 98% and counting. He's going to open Rosa and Luma up right there. Rolls on through, OK? Is he going to decide to get rid of Luma? Wow, just one jab. One right. forward tilt. Again, ZSS struggles to get rid of this Luma. 
just to test the waters. Letting, okay, whoa, scare me for a second. Whoa, my God! And the pop off! Whoa! The Buzz winner's side top eight here at Super Smash Con. Defeating Mars 3-2, last stock, such an intense set between two legends of the Northeast, two longtime players. Both of them on some amazing runs today, though, kind of recovering from a rough spot in terms of their career, right? Mars getting this win over Light, the Buzz beating Mia, who is definitely favored to take it over him. They're both still alive in this bracket, though. Mars with another shot on the loser's side. He's got to win one more. He's guaranteed ninth right now, but you know it's top eight or bust for these guys. Wow. What a match that was, Max. I got to give it to him. That was just a sheer display of resilience and damn it, pure brilliance. Let's just go ahead and take a peek at the replays. There's the Luma Jab, of course. Mars kind of caught in the corner. Can't get those feet back onto solid ground. Nair, boom, up air, okay? Especially Luma Nair. That's very dangerous. Don't know exactly what it is on shield, but Rosalina Nair, pretty darn safe. Going to be very hard to work around. And again, look at the double pop off right there. Ice on deck in the front row. He said, I'm going to pop off with you, homie. Man, oh. what a great set that was. And you saw so many little key moments contribute to that victory for DeBuzz. I'm really going to point to where Mars was trying to scramble with Luma on the left side of the stage on that last stock, hitting her with the jab, the forward tilt, all these little light moves that just don't knock her far away enough Ooh. to efficiently remove her from play, right? Having Luma at his side for so much of that set is, I think, what really contributed to the buzz getting in there. The switch to Rosa, by yes. the way, after two games, yes. one almost dominant win with Almar, one pretty dominant 